Watch your breath coming in, watch your breath going out. It's a good place to gather your awareness. It's about as close to your own mind as you can get in the physical world. It's the breath energy in your own body. So try not to overlook it. It's something very close right here that you can be with all the time, and you can use as your anchor. Because when you're with the breath, you know you're in the present moment. And when you're in the present moment, you can watch the movements of the mind. This is when you begin to understand how the mind creates stress and suffering for itself, how it weighs itself down with different thoughts, different ideas. And things come in. I mean, it's natural. Things will pop up in the mind. But then there's a question of whether you want to grab onto it or not. And you can watch the mind as it does that, and you begin to see how oh, this really does weigh the mind down. There are lots of thoughts that you can just let go, let go. The mind will be a lot lighter, and you won't be the worse for it, for not following those thoughts. Sometimes we feel that we've got to sort out every thought that comes through the head. But that's not the case. There are a lot of crazy thoughts coming through, so you just let them go. This way you can focus on the things that really do matter, that really do make a difference. And that lightens the mind's burden quite a lot right there. We take on many more tasks than we need to. So try to stay right here. Be in touch with the sense of the breath energy flowing through the body as much as you can throughout the day, because that's what gives you your anchor. When the mind is anchored, then it doesn't get carried away. Otherwise, we're like a person standing at the side of the road. Someone drives up and you, says, hop in. You hop in. You don't even know who they are or where they're going. Every thought comes by, we just hop right in, hop right in. Sometimes we're not even invited, we just hop in. If we lived our lives that way, we'd be dead by now. And the mind does suffer that way. Our thoughts can, our trains of thoughts can carry us far, far away from anything that's really useful and create a lot of trouble and suffering in the meantime. So try to stay anchored right here. A thought comes up, check it out. It's just something really worth going with. If it's not, you can just let it go, let it go, let it go. You can stay solid and stable right here. And this is what gives the mind a grounding. When the mind has its ground, then it's a lot more secure. There's a lot more ease as you go through life. You're not weighing yourself down with unnecessary suffering, and at the same time you're not weighing other people down either. This right here, even though it's just a beginning step in the practice, is a big gift both to yourself and the people around you. <laughs>